Exhausted from their treacherous journey, these are the lucky ones. They survived the sea. But these men, women and children could make it no further, forced to sleep on the pavement in their hundreds. As a new day begins, they must find the energy to push on. Very, very cold here. Don't have uh, yeah, this one. Don't have uh, the clay in. Yeah. We, when we arrived here, we didn't know, we didn't believe that we didn't believe that we are alive, and we passed it like this danger. We didn't think like this that we were feeling so cold at night. Really, we are. It was so dangerous also for me tonight here. Help arrives. A much needed supply of sleeping bags. Stay back, stay back. Hey. There isn't enough to go around. Wrapped up in what little they have, most are convinced it's worth it. I think last, last, next part, it's not dangerous. It's better than this. But every day brings new uncertainty. The thousand people who found their bed here must wait for buses or face a three-day walk. As they clamber on board, they hope what awaits is a ticket to Europe. This is what welcomes them. A camp that was built to be a prison, now home to around 3,000 migrants. They must register here for the immigration documents they need to leave the island. This can take several days. Until then, this is home. More people have arrived on this island than ever expected, and the authorities have struggled to cope. Human waste is everywhere. Ismad from Afghanistan tells me it's inhumane. The condition is not good for a human. We are human, as you see, but you see, it's not livable here. We are not livable. And so they wait, getting what rest they can, making some sort of home. Jessica Omri, 5 News, Lesbos.